Hi, I'm Chuck from Mala, and today I want to talk to you about the maintenance requirements for the new generation of Arctic Pro ACX equipment. We've listened to our customers, and you said to make the service easier, and so we did. So no more screws are required to access maintenance items inside the cabinet. Opening the hood gives you access to the filter dryer located on the left side of the cabinet. Take a spanner wrench here and unscrew the filter dryer. When you replace it, you'll want to screw that back on. See the operation manual for torque specs that are required. To replace the vacuum pump oil, start by removing the top filler cap. Set it to the side. Then place a holding container, I'm going to use this cup here, under the drain port and unscrew it to drain the oil out. Replace the cap when you're done. Make sure it's tight to prevent leaks. Look at this fill gauge on the side when you refill the oil. Make sure that the line, the oil level is at the proper level and then replace the cap. Maintenance needs are represented on the screen here below. Note that the icons will change to yellow and then to red when a need is required for maintenance. To add additional refrigerant to the internal cylinder, you have a shortcut button from here that allows you access to do an internal bottle fill. To replace the combination filter, you can touch the icon here to enter in your filter code. One tip when changing out dryer filters is before you do the replacement, go ahead and put in the new filter code for the filter that you're replacing. That makes it easier to see the serial number that's going to be needed for entering into this screen. To reset the vacuum oil life, touch this icon here on the screen. This allows you to reset the counter after you've changed the oil. One additional tip while you're doing maintenance is to inspect the coupler for any signs of wear or any visible damage. Also, while you're at it, inspect the hoses, make sure they're free from any cuts or nicks. For 1234YF units, or any unit that has an additional identifier added, you want to check the filter for the refrigerant identifier, make sure that it's not pink spotted or red spotted in the filter. Also, check the lines for oil contamination. Make sure that they're clean and free from any ingression of oil. If the filter needs to be replaced, it can be easily removed and replaced. That concludes the maintenance overview for the new generation of ACX. For more information, see your owner's manual or visit the URL below.